Okay guys, sorry I can't be there in person with you today. Um, I'm actually working at East and uh, I haven't been in my classroom for a year so I'm not sure what the status of my technology is and so I wasn't positive I'd be able to get online with you today. So I decided to pre-record this information because it's important information that we all need. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, start off on our Connections Canvas page, go to Modules probably already figured this out if you're watching this video and uh, we're going to be focused on uh, today's date February 3rd the agenda and some different documents I have listed here for you so I'm going to go over this bell schedule first um, so if you open up that page um, you will see this document and this is the schedule for Monday and Tuesday if you're returning to in-person classes the bell schedule is also for you that are staying remote um, so first of all, you're kind of curious if you have first or second lunch. That's based on your third period class, wherever that is. So if that third period class is on the uh, first floor, second floor, or CTC, um, then you will have first lunch. If your class is on the third floor, fourth floor, <laughs> or release time, you'll have second lunch. Now East High has, for some reason, uh, redid the names for the floors and the classrooms. Um, and since I haven't been in my classroom for a year, I'm still figuring this out. But instead of using A floor, B floor, C floor, D floor, A is first, B is second, C is third floor, and D is fourth floor. Um, and they've changed the room numbers a little bit too. Um, my old room number was D202, and now they've changed that to uh, 4102. Um, so when I see you on Monday or Tuesday, for those of you returning in person, uh, make sure you go to the fourth floor in room 102 across the hall from the elevators. Um, now, uh, for the first two days of school, um, you're going to be with me, the Connections teacher, from 8 a.m. to 9.25. You'll be with me Monday. If your last name is uh, with the letters A through L, you'll be with me Tuesday if your last name is with the letters M through Z. Now during that time, it's 75 minutes, um, now I am not positive that I will use all of the time that they're asking us to use. And so make sure that you um, have work with you um, that you can work on. Uh, because of the COVID pandemic, we can't let students wander around the hallway, so you do need to stay in my classroom the entire time. Um, so make sure that you have stuff to keep you productive. Um, now, during that time, um, we'll go over the importance of having a seating chart in your classrooms, the different classrooms that you'll be in. That's mostly for the purposes of being able to do contact tracing if we need to at a later time. Um, also, one of the big things Monday and Tuesday is to make sure that your laptops and your technology works well and easily connects to East High's Wi-Fi. Um, we will also, during that time, there is a leap that we'll uh, watch together. Um, and during that leap, the students that are having an issue with technology or with the Wi-Fi, I'll be sending you down to the library where we have our computer tech specialist there to help you out. And we'll also have a chance to uh, introduce ourselves to each other, go over beast expectation, go over the mask rules, which are really, really important, the socially distance rules, how to wash your hands, how to sanitize, all of these things that are going to be procedures that you have to follow to come to in-person classes. Now, also, you will be called to the auditorium alphabetically for COVID testing. So um, I, I think most of you know this, but if you don't, you do have to test negative to return to in-person classes. So let's talk about what that testing is and what it looks like. So the next document um, is this test to return document. And so if you open that up, um, it will bring this page up. Now all of this information is also updated constantly on East High's web page, right here under the big letter E. Um, so there's information that you can get here, um, including some of the forms that you might need um, to uh, qualify for testing, okay, to provide consent. Your parents have to provide consent for your testing. Um, so let's go over that. Um, so this says, all East High students who wish to return for in-person instruction are required to be COVID testing if they wish to be uh, on campus. Students will be called down to the auditorium by their last name, Alpha, for COVID testing. February 8th will be those of you whose last names begins with the letter A through L. Tuesday the 9th, M through Z. 
You also have another option um, down here where it says testing dates. You can come in ahead of time, Saturday, February 6th from 8 a.m. to 11.30. If you are a newly registered student or a freshman, um, you can also uh, go Wednesday, so today, February 3rd from 10 a.m. to 1.30. Now, no matter which of these testing times works for you, um, you need to have a consent form that your family, that your parents or your guardians sign for you. So here's the link to that consent form. It is also on East High's webpage as well, so you can get to it a couple places. Now all this information has been sent to you already ahead of time um, via email from our school administration. So you should have received all this information, but I'm going over it with you just in case you have not. Um, and so there's other important information about how the test is administered, um, testing results, what we do. Um, and so on. So it's going to be worth your time to go through this and read through it and make sure you understand all of it. Okay. Now the test that they're doing is a rapid test and what that means is that you'll get your results within 15 to 30 minutes of taking the test and it's not a painful test. It's not something where they jam that swab way up behind your eyeballs. They just put it right in the entrance of your nasal cavity of your nose. It doesn't hurt. It's not uncomfortable. Um, and then you'll get your results. If you have a positive result, um, then you'll be have to be dismissed for quarantine, and that's the, on the recommendation of the health department. It has nothing to do with East High School. Um, and if you get a negative result, that means that you can return to in-person uh, learning. And they do give you a piece of paper saying that you had a negative result, and you do need to keep on to that, and you do need to be able to show that to your teachers and to various staff members at certain times, okay? Um, and so there's also additional information that you may need. Um, and as always, check the East High's webpage for anything current and keep checking your emails. Your emails will have all of the necessary information. Okay. Now, also, um, under the agenda, you'll have some different information that I've already gone over it with you. Um, but I want to make sure that you see my email address here. So if there's anything I can do to help, any questions, concerns, uh, the nature of this pandemic is things change fast. And so I'm giving you the most updated information that I have right now. And I apologize if things have changed. But as of this moment, they have not. Um, so you need to get tested. Um, you need to make sure that you're with me in connections either Monday or Tuesday if you're coming back in person. Um, and then the last thing that you need to do, and then you can leave today, is you do need to do this exit ticket. Um, and the exit ticket is for me so that I know how many students I can plan on. So please tell me if you're returning to in-person classes um, and do this exit ticket. Okay, that's it. Contact me if you have any concerns or questions, and I look forward to seeing you, uh, those of you returning to in-person classes, face-to-face. -face. Um, and after Monday and Tuesday, we'll still just be meeting via Zoom for this class on Wednesdays. So the only exception to that is Monday and Tuesday of next week. Okay, peace out, you all. See you later.